Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I created this abstract geometric shape animation project from beginning to the end. So this is not going to be a step-by-step -step follow along tutorial, but in this video, I will show you guys the workflow for this animation project. Also by the end of this video, I will refer the tutorials and provide the links for the techniques I used in this video. So make sure to watch till the end. At the beginning of any project, I do some brainstorming and then do some basic rough sketches to put all the ideas in a visual format. I do not focus on the drawing very well, but this is the process to put all the ideas into an artboard. After everything was finalized, I jumped into Adobe Illustrator and started with the illustration process. So I started adding the basic shapes with a white fill and black stroke. At this stage, I'm avoiding the color selection process to make sure to focus on the basic design. Once the design was completed, I started adding colors. I tried out different color combinations taking references from Adobe Color and Pinterest. Once I'm finalized with the color theme, I started adding colors toward the illustration. Initially, I designed 15 separate frames, then I realized that it would be too congested as the viewers may get confused and with so many animation happening together, so I reduced it to 9 frames, which makes it perfectly symmetric. And here I am with the final illustrations that I would need for this animation project. Then I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow for this animation project. Now I started the animation process in After Effects. Before starting the animation, I planned out the movement and the timing. If you observe this animation, the first thing you will notice that all the animation have the exact same timing for all the 9 blocks and they are perfectly synchronized. At the center there is a geometric shape similar to an eye and on each of the corners there are diagonal movements that are pointing towards the center which brings the viewers attention on the eye like shape. And on each of the sides I place the animations which have circular movements which further enhances the look and the feel of the animation. So in After Effects I started animating the eye first. Here for the eye white, I animated it in Y axis of the scale property from 100 to minus 100, then a pause and then again back to 100. And then I changed the motion graph such that it starts very slow and at the mid it has a very high speed and finally stops slowly. Then I copied the motion graph with ease copy so that I can use this motion graph on the other animations to make the movement consistent throughout the scene. Now, is copy is a free plugin that you can use to copy and paste motion graphs or even keyframes. To use it, you have to select the set of keyframes from which you want to copy the motion graph and then click copy. Then select the set of keyframes on which you want to paste the graph. And right now, both the set of keyframes have similar motion graphs in a few clicks. Now back to the eye animation. During the eye blink, I added a scale up down motion on retina. Even change the color of the elements in this frame to get some extra attention. Next, I animated the corner diagonal motion frames, taking the time reference from the eye blink. For the ball and the block movement, I even added some squash and stretch to add some extra detail for which I have used the shape path property. So for this triangle, square and wave frame, for the background wave, I used the wave warp effect. Then to morph the shape, I then again use the shape path property. Then for this cutout effect in the intersection area of the triangles and the wave movement, I duplicated the triangle shape and then used the wave layer as an alpha track mat. I used the similar technique for the circles intersection as well. Okay, so these are the steps I followed throughout the project and this clip is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few essential tips and tricks to help you in your projects. If you want to learn how to create flat stride illustrations like this, you can check out my illustration tutorials where I have explained it in full details. So I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also, if you want to learn how to morph shapes in After Effects, then again you can check the detailed tutorial from the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also, if you want to learn how to animate an eye blink in After Effects, then again you can check out the tutorial from the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. 
all right so that is it for this video if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down i would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye